I feel like this camera is just making me look pale. And I promise you guys, I'm not that pale. <laughs> Hello there, informed beauties. How are you guys doing today? Your girl Eunice Marie here, and I'm so happy because we are back in business. I got a new ring light or a replacement bulb for my ring light, so we are nice and bright. But today, we are going to do something very exciting. We are going to be tinting my brows, okay? Now, I have never, ever, ever, ever tinted my brows. But as you guys can see, your girl is very sparse in a lot of different areas when it comes to my brows. Um, they can just they can use a little bit more color to them, and I feel like that will make them look uh, thicker. I came across this box is jacked up by the way because I ripped it open. Um, but I came across the Ardell brow tint, and um, I was on Target, and I was like. I was like, what? Ardell has a brow tint? Now, Ardell is more known for their lashes, their lash glue, their lash products. So, I was really like, what? So, um, and then it has like no ammonia, no peroxide, and that was nothing that stuck out to me because you guys know I like to be as cleaner with what I use um, as possible. So, if, that, if there's something out there that offers that, I am all for it. So let's jump into this product and what it's all about before we jump into using it. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello. Go ahead and make sure you take a moment to subscribe. Join the Informed Beauty fam and make sure you go ahead and thumbs up this video, okay? So this is the Ardell Brow Tint Light Brown Cruelty-Free, Vegan, Paraben-Free, Gluten-Free uh, Brow Tint. It, it has 12 applications worth of tint. It lasts for two weeks and is safe and easy to use. This uses camellia leaf, ginger root, and horsetail extracts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so pretty much it says it's three easy steps, mix, apply, and shape. I think it's really important that we hit the warning points real quick because I'm all about talking to you guys about being as safe as possible when it comes to applying anything to your skin, um, brows, anything like that. So you do want to make sure that you do a patch test. If you are not sure how this product is going to work with you, if you have sensitive skin, if you have never done any hair color, none of that, and you are not sure how you're going to react please do a patch test you can do it on your inner arm the back of your ear um do that 24 hours before you apply this product okay i'm not gonna do it because we've been there done that okay and i okay i'm a cosmetologist as well I'm not saying that that makes it okay but after a while of dying hair and doing all that after a while you start doing patch tests okay at least on yourself like you just go okay all right we'll put it on there um but i don't if you're unsure, I do recommend always doing it. Don't do what I do. Just make sure you patch test, okay? Um, also, this says never to apply to your lashes, okay? You do not want to put this anywhere near your eye area. I cannot stress that enough. Don't put this near your eye area. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, okay? So it comes with the brown tint, uh, the brow tint conditioning developer, comes with that it comes with a spatula a mixing a little mixing bowl and a spoolie comes here like that please excuse my nails i really cannot wait for the nail salon to be open like i'm dying on the inside um and this is the ardell tint powder in light brown okay so personally i decide to go for light brown um, I thought about going for medium, but I didn't want to make them too dark. We are going to read the instructions, of course. It comes with a nice little instruction paper here. Um, I forgot how much it retailed for. I think it was $14.99. I got mine off of Target. Links will be above and down below. Also, some additional things that I do have are cotton rounds, Q-tips, and a angled brush, okay? Because I do want to be a little bit more precise, okay? Um, that spoolie is good and everything, but it doesn't really give you what you need to really make your arch and all that, okay? So, let's go ahead and let's start. You wanna be able to see the shape of your brow. 
Um, I would suggest if you're going to do this, you might want to either tweeze or wax your eyebrows before, okay? Just so that you have more of a shape where you want your shape to fall and you're not tinting unnecessary brows, okay? Or brow hair, okay? Now this, um, I did watch a few videos before doing this. And when I watched the videos, this stuff was very liquidy in the videos, in the videos in which I did watch. So I'm just keeping that in mind that this stuff is gonna come out quite fast. So make sure you guys can, oh, see? <laughs> Let's try this again. Hi. Okay. So pretty much one drop. All you need is one drop of that stuff. So you're gonna shake the developer. So you're gonna shake the tint bottle three to four times until the developer and use the plastic spatula to mix until the until it's a smooth consistency. So let's do that. like this and then you're going to take the spatula and mix it until it's a smooth consistency now I don't know if this is this looks like it's uh, y'all there is nothing in here look <laughs> that is like so little um That's the what the taupe looks like. The taupe looks pretty dark to me. Like that is what it looks like. So I'm going to brush my brows up just to make sure that my shape is ready to go. And we are going to go ahead and we are going to start applying this bad boy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm of course going to take some onto the spoolie first and apply it to the length of my hair. Okay, so... So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go in with an angle brush because I really want to be more precise than that. And the spatula, I mean the spoolie brush is fine, but I really do think using an angle brush like this is really going to get in there and get those hairs. And also it's going to be better at smoothing out the product a little bit more. And so that is what we are going to do. So my camera is about to die, but I only did this brow, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my timer on for 10 minutes. I do feel as though my consistency was not really right, so I am going to do something a little bit different for the other brow. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes. I'm going to let my camera charge and I'll be back right back for us to finish off this tinting tutorial. So the 10 minutes has already started, so I'll be back. Um, so this is the brow. So I ended up applying a second layer after the first one. I'll insert clips here from when I did that. And I let the second layer sit on for about um, three minutes because it says three to five minutes for your second layer. Um, the first time I did remove it, I did notice that I lost a couple of brows. So, so I was like, listen, I don't need to be losing any more brow hair. So I was like, please don't take out any more brow hair. So when I removed it the second time, I didn't see any brow hair, which is good. So, um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, I could have went darker, definitely could have went darker, but I think for the most part, it kind of looks the same. It kind of looks the same. You guys see a difference in my brow? Let me know. Maybe when I'm editing this or playing this back, I will see a difference because I it happens like that sometimes. So I did make the, um, the, the, the product a little bit more thicker because it was too thin the first round that I put it on you probably saw that and instead of using using the spoolie to apply it I'm using the actual brush because I like that I, I like that I can paste it on and it gets more of a like it covers all the hairs you know I feel like before it wasn't really covering the hairs like that and so I would like it to be a thicker consistency which you guys are going to see now and I really feel like that's how you tint a brow, like, or hair. You gotta have a a, rec a really good consistency to it. And if you are a hair colorist or anything like that, you know that. So it's just like, if you have a liquidy consistency, you're not really getting much of anywhere. So 
I did thicken up that consistency a little bit and using this brush helps to really pack it on. Y'all, I really do think this stuff is taking my eyebrows out. I'm not even going to lie. I think this is taking my brows out. So, so I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes and then I will be back. Um, I'm a little concerned <laughs> because I seen a few hairs come out at the end of this brow and I am a little concerned about that. Now, I, like I said, on this brow, I did have a few hair. I did lose a few hairs here, um, but it was okay but this brow i actually saw the hairs go bye bye so that does uh worry me a little bit so i'm gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and i'll be back i'm going to do another coat um and the second coat you do for only three to five minutes so because my brows i don't know if i'm losing brow hair or not I'm only going to be doing three minutes for another coat. So, and then I'm going to let that sit for three to five, three minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so three minutes have passed, and this is what we are currently working with. I'm about to go ahead and remove it. Now, I always feel like the second application is a lot better and smoother than the first application, and that is applied with both brows. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this color. Now, if um if you were to ask me would i go up to a medium brown i would i feel like i could possibly get away with a medium brown but i think the light brown is good enough especially because i do fill in my brows if i didn't fill in my brows then i probably would just go ahead and go with the medium brown but i feel like because i fill my brows in if they were darker than this and i was to go in with a medium with my pencil or my pomade i feel like it'll probably be overkill in a way so i do feel like the light brown works out but would i try the medium brown i definitely would try the medium brown so this is what it looks like i think there is a very slight difference they do look like they're more like a little bit more pigmented but i don't know okay and so they say this stuff lasts up to 12 weeks and we're gonna like test that out it is currently may the 19th so i am very curious to see on how these look or if i notice them fading or anything of that sort so i definitely would keep that up keep that um updated for you guys and i'm glad that i still have majority of my brows but i did notice that i did have a couple of brows that were missing okay or like that got pulled out in the process but you know it's okay so what y'all think all right I will throw in a clip with my face fully done. So like with my brows done, makeup done and all that. So you guys can get also to um, a full, a good feel of what my brows look like being filled in and all that. As well as I will come back tomorrow morning. I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and just shoot y'all, just shoot a real quick of what my brows look like tomorrow morning just to give you guys a more thorough look um but i do think it's a little bit of a subtle look a little bit of a more natural tint it's nothing too crazy and i would use it again okay i just don't know my poor my poor couple of brows i don't know because you know when you lose like one or two you're like no can't afford that okay but with that being said you guys but um yeah so i will be back tomorrow morning to show you guys what they look like more like the next day if they changed up in color or anything like that which i don't know because it's not that big of a difference, but to test this for thoroughly and fully, that's what we are going to do. And yes, I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning, you guys. So I just decided to step on real quick so that I can show you guys my brows next day. I know the lighting in here is kind of, uh, but if you guys can see a difference, I do think that they are a little bit darker than what my brows were before um nothing too crazy just a little bit darker but i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and fill them in and everything and um i will insert a picture or video showing you guys what they look like so i feel like this camera is just making me look pale and i promise you guys i'm not that pale <laughs> well maybe i am because i don't know i haven't been outside as often because y'all know we on all stuck in the house but anyway so i want to come and show you guys my brows in more of like a natural light setting um i have this is a 
NYX pencil in the color soft brown that I fill my eyebrows in with and I mean they do look darker when I fill them in than what they would have looked like before I filled them in so they do look a little bit darker because you wouldn't think this is soft brown looking at it you probably would think that I had like a medium brown maybe um, so I do think that going with a soft brown to fill them in or to tint them is a great idea because I feel like if I would have went for a medium brown, it probably would have been too much with filling them in. They probably would have been like too dark. I don't know. And I'm going to fill my brows in either way because as you guys know, they're really sparse. So it doesn't matter if I tint them and then not fill them in because they're still going to be sparse. Unlike some people who have a fuller brow, they can tint their brows and that that covers them. They don't have to fill in their brows because they already have a nice like tinted deep brow. So um yeah, so I just wanted to come and show you guys what this looks like and yeah, I don't know. I have a kind of feeling about it like I'm kind of in between because I'm like I did see a slight difference in it, but do I really need to do it? That's the question. Like it doesn't make a big difference for me for my brows like it's not something that was like oh like I definitely need to do this it's like okay that was fun to try it made a slight difference in my brows but I don't know I don't think I don't say I dislike it I don't dislike it but I definitely don't see it as something that I would like run to do or run to make sure that I have it in my like arsenal of beauty products okay but it was great to give it a try and to try something new and to see if you know brown tinting was something that would work out for me but with that being said you guys every everything that i use in this video will be linked down below if you guys have used this product or if you guys have tinted your brows before let me know and with that being said you guys i will see you in a later video bye